Welcome to the lesson on responding to cardiogenic shock. In this video, we'll discuss cardiogenic shock management. Since children in cardiogenic shock have a problem with cardiac contractility, the primary goal of therapy is to restore contractility. Unlike most other types of shock, fluid resuscitation is not a primary intervention in cardiogenic shock. Often, medications to support contractility and reduce afterload are first-line treatments. In normotensive individuals, this means vasodilators and diuretics, which both decrease intravascular volume. Contractility is supported with inotropes. Milrinone is often used to decrease peripheral vascular resistance. When additional volume is needed, fluid can be administered slowly and cautiously. Administer 5 to 10 milliliters per kilogram over 10 to 20 minutes. A pediatric cardiologist or critical care specialist should manage individuals with cardiogenic shock. This concludes our lesson on responding to cardiogenic shock. Next, we'll review responding to obstructive shock.